I found a scrap piece of uh, watercolor paper. It looked like this, kind of long and narrow. So here's what I did. I painted this painting on it. as you can see. And then I had to have a way to frame that, which is a very unusual size. So here's what I did. I took two pieces of one by two and I glued them together with some uh, liquid nails. And it just so happens that that is exactly the right size to put the painting on. So I'm in the process of gluing uh, an end on that end and I'm going to glue another end here like this and the painting as you can see will go right on the top of that and I'm going to lock the painting down some way or another with some clamps first I'll stain all this and we'll see what it looks like Okay, so here's my completed frame, if you can call it a frame, and I put a very, very light stain on it. So, let's see how that fits. And the next step is, how do we mount the picture onto the frame? And I think I have an idea for that, and I'll show you what that is after I take a trip up to Lowe's to get the material. Now, of course I can't go to Lowe's without going to the bread company. Uh, that's a rule I have so uh, my first stop will be the bread company and some coffee and a bear club. freestanding. So cutting a couple dowels like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I have this little plaque that I bought and we put the two dowels in there like that and then we'll drill a couple holes in this board and we'll mount it just like that and it'll be freestanding. Okay. Well, there's my freestanding painting. Yeah, came out alright. 